Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the first of a two-part video series where I take jumbo 14-inch eggs and I turn them into very beautiful stylish decor pieces for your home. So I have this video, you guys really enjoy my Easter DIYs, so I thought I would bring this to you today and I hope that you enjoy it. So the best deal that I found on the jumbo eggs was in the Oriental Trading Company magazine for $42 for six of them. So that puts them about a $7 a piece. I also saw that you can get 12 inch eggs at the Dollar Tree for $5 a piece. So depending on which size fits better for your style. Now for the first egg, I'm going to do a natural earthy type of a look to it. And I got this moss from Hobby Lobby and it is a natural moss so it has that nice texture that kind of breaks apart. And this is really simple. You just take Elmer's glue, cover the egg and then start to arrange that moss on top. And what I would recommend after doing this the first time is starting from the bottom. So flip that egg over in a bowl and start from the bottom and work your way to the top. But if you start it from the top like I did, you can do the same thing and flip it in a bowl anyways, but you'll just have to make sure that you fluff up the moss after you remove it from that bowl. This does make a little bit of a mess, so if you want to do this on a counter space or some place where you can wipe up all the moss pieces easily afterwards. But as long as you continue to use your hands to compress the egg together while you apply the moss, it does, it mats it together somehow and so it stops being so messy at a certain point. The next thing that I did to try to prevent the egg from shedding too much after of course like I said patting it and really firmly pushing all that together is taking a can of really good hold hairspray it doesn't matter whatever you have in the cupboard but something strong and just put a really solid coat of hairspray over the entire thing I really drenched it down just to prevent it from shedding too much and then I took a little bunny package that I got from the kids craft section in the Dollar Tree this beautiful little ceramic bunny I pulled the wire top off and also the string and I painted it this metallic gold. Then using E6000 glue and hot glue I applied the bunny to the top of this egg. I really love the way that this egg turned out. I have it here on our side hutch next to some fresh branches that I cut down and one of the nice things about using fresh branches in the spring is that they bloom in the water vase that you use and so it really emphasizes that spring feeling and effect as it grows. For the next style, I'm going to be doing a soft pink, very spring uh, effect with using decoupage. You can either use school glue that you um, thin out or you can use Mod Podge. And I'm going to be using these little light pink napkins. Now at first I had just covered the egg with Mod Podge and went ahead and applied the napkin in its totality to the egg and then used the Mod Podge to cover it. But you see the napkin has two layers and so what that did is it created a lot of bubbling effect and then when I thinned it out it was very see-through. And so this egg was kind of a, a flop at first and you know there's only happy <laughs> mistakes so I painted the whole thing white and I'm going to use this one for the project later on and then I started over by adding first the gloss white paint to the entire egg just to give me a base so that it wasn't so see-through so this is what I would encourage you to do as step one I shared with you what not to do first just so you could see you know if you wanted to cut corners that it might not turn out the way you wanted to so this way you have a nice white base and then I cut the napkins into smaller squares and separated them and now I'm going to go ahead and continue with the decoupage with the Mod Podge on top of that white acrylic paint. If you've never done decoupage before, it's really simple. You just put down a layer of Mod Podge first, it's kind of like a glue, and then you put whatever medium that you're placing on top, whether that's tissue paper or napkins like I did, but make sure that it's thin and that it's to its thinnest layer. It's going to give you the best result. And then you take the Mod Podge and you paint that on top, and you work your way around in small pieces until you cover the entire egg. You can see now with the egg being completely covered, two things, that little ridge there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these little pearl embellishment strips that I got from the Dollar Tree that really hide that and also accent the egg in a very beautiful way. 
I also took one of the small pearls that I have and added it to the top of the egg just for a little extra detail to give it a little bit more visual interest. And you can really see that by adding that base layer of white paint first, that gives you a much better result uh, over that yellow egg. And there's two side candles. You can see they also match that egg. I did a DIY in previous Easter videos where I showed you how to incorporate napkins into wax pillar candles, and I can link that so that you can watch that next. Now, I also did a royal blue Mod Podge egg and I use these royal blue floral printed napkins. This pattern really reminds me of the Royal Copenhagen line. It's just a nice elegant pattern and something that is in style this year. So I went ahead and did the same steps. I'm not going to show them all to you because you just saw that. But I painted the egg white and then I'm decoupaging the napkins in small pieces around the egg. Now the magic really comes with all the embellishments. I again have a really nice beaded embellishment from the Dollar Tree that's self-adhesive. So I'm going to be putting that around the rim of the egg as well as using this butterfly and some other gems to really make this egg pop. The butterflies are left over from Hobby Lobby Christmas collection and the gems, the blue ones, are from the Dollar Tree. I start by adding the butterfly to the top of the egg which is some hot glue and then I wrap the jeweled embellishment around that lip again so that it disguises it. Although on this blue egg you can't see it as prominently as you could on the pink egg. And then I go ahead and add some of those blue jewels as well just to really add a bit of accent and a little bit more detail to the top of the egg. And this is how our Royal Copenhagen egg turned out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have some inspiration for ideas of how you can decorate some eggs for your house. Now you can use any type of napkins for the decoupaging so you can really customize those last two pieces. I have the part two coming out soon with the other three eggs and how I styled them so I hope that see you then and that you enjoyed today's video. Bye for now!